Hey, I'm DeJorn from the Gender Cool Project, and I am the Director of Champion Engagement. We work with youth all the way to corporate partners, and I'm super excited today to show you how Adobe Creative Cloud Express helped us create our onboarding packet. Let's check it out. All right, so now let's get creating. Typically, I'm creating right from my device because I'm always on the go. But when I need to look at something with a lot of detail, I'll go to my desktop. So I've already logged into Creative Cloud Express and I've been working on this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a template that I've already started to remix. I need this to be youth friendly. So I got to get rid of these glasses. So we're going to go ahead, select that image, hit replace. And I think this is a great spot to go ahead and put in our logo. And what I love is I can size this and this is all about branding. So I want to make sure that that logo is nice and big. Now, one of the things that I really, really love about Adobe Creative Cloud Express is that I can see layers. And at the bottom of my screen, you can see that it says I have five layers. I'm going to go ahead and click that and I can see all of my layers that I'm dealing with. I've got to get rid of this purple and blue. It's not part of our brand. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. I'm going to hit replace. I need something with green. I'm just typing green. And I really don't use overlays a lot. So let's go ahead and check that out. This one is perfect. This literally is the gender cool colors. I'm just going to go ahead and select. And as you see, the system just went right ahead and switched it over. Now I see that blue is in the background and that is throwing off my brand. And I'm going to use that same layer spot at the bottom of my screen and click on background. That takes me to where that blue is coming from. And if I wanted to make an, choose an image, I could choose an image, but I just need to change the color and make it one of our brand colors. So I'm going to select green since the yellow and the black is already there. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. I really love how this is coming along. However, speaking of that busy background, I need to make sure that we can read these words. This is a very important checklist. This is the main document that my champions are going to be using to make sure that they have everything that they need for their launch day. And I'm going to double click on it like I did and notice how it selects everything that I need. I'm going to go here to shapes under effects. Go ahead and click it. Make sure I have a dark background. Yes, I do black. And I like this. I like this one, this rounded corner. This is perfect. I can now see that text. Look at this. It's already starting to pop already. And I love this. I will definitely do this for all the rest of them. Double click, hit shapes. And I'm just going to keep going down doing that. I really, truly do love how this is coming along. Now that I have this all completed and I have my text in there, I played around with my background a little bit more with my layers because, you know, I love that blur feature that was originally there. So again, if I take it off, very busy, but if I hit blur, it just smooths it back out. So I really love how that looks. There's just still something that is missing with this. Again, we want people to feel very welcome. This is their first time coming to Gender Cool and they're getting all these documents and this big giant packet of onboarding. I think adding a photo is gonna be best. So I'm gonna go to my libraries, click on my library. I have this awesome picture of my champions. Yes, this is exactly what I need. I love this. Scale it up to what I need it to be. And I definitely wanna get rid of that white background. It's just throwing everything off. And what I love is I can just go ahead under editing that image, hit remove background. Watch this. Boom. Background gone. And let me show you a really cool feature that I love about Adobe Creative Cloud Express. I'm going to hit restore right next to that erase button, hit restore. I'm going to scale my brush to what I need it to be. I see that my champion face has disappeared a little bit and I can restore the piece that the system has taken, notice how it turns green. That's the area that I wanna make sure that I have. I also see a little piece of my champion's hair has disappeared. I'm gonna select that as well. Hit my done check mark at the top of the screen. Watch this. Boom, 
Now I have my champion's face and I have my champion's head all the way in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just scale this how I want it to be. Now, remember I said I usually am working from my device, right? And I love the nudge button where I can move images just a little bit of where I need it to be. Now, when I'm working from my desktop, I can go ahead and do that right from my keyboard by using the arrows. So I'm going to go ahead and just nudge it right to where I want this image to be placed. And if I need to make it larger, just use my mouse again. That's perfect there. Need to do a little bit. It's like a little bit too much color is coming from this photo. I'm going to go ahead and click on filters and I'm just going to grayscale it. I like that. It takes away a little bit of that color, not too much. And I'm going to just fade this a little bit into the background. Let's put it at like 81. This is perfect. I can now go ahead and share this to my team if I haven't already by clicking up at the top. I'm going to go ahead and download it. It's going to be approved and be awesome. I'm so glad that I use Adobe Creative Cloud Express to be able to finish this project in time. Thanks for hanging with me. To learn more about the Gender Cool Project, follow us below. And don't forget, tips and tricks are weekly, and make sure you subscribe to Adobe Creative Cloud Express.